Bye, y'all. Yes, I did find some really great bargains um, yesterday, Saturday, at um, Ross and TJ Maxx. So I wanted to bring those items and show you guys. It's not a lot. It's a little bit. But it was things that I saw that um, I've been looking for and that I needed. Um, there were a couple things I got for me for my bathroom upstairs. And I did pick up something for the guest room. And then some couple clothing items, a couple personal items, um, some dog treats for Baloo, and one little thing for uh, Easter decoration. So without further ado, let's get this video started. Um, one of the things that I found that I, I'd never even thought of this, and I looked at it, I was like, yes, that's perfect for my scarves. But as you can see, you can actually, it's a hanging store. You could do scarves, whatever you feel uh, necessary. And then you've got this uh, little hook. It hooks over your closet rod right there. And you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rings. And I would assume you could probably put belts on this if you wanted to as well. You just have to probably loop them on there. Um, but I got it for my uh, scarves to get them all together. Because currently right now, I have them hooked on like the pant hanger thing. So yes, I picked this up at TJ Maxx. And it was, this is the time where I need my eyeglasses. Um, $4.99. $4.99. We're just going to cover the, uh, the things like that first. I also picked up for the back door coming in from the garage a um, moisture absorbing textured mat. And it's $6.99. And um, it's just a heavy skid resistant backing so it won't move when you step on it. Um, so yeah. And I love that color. So I've got one of those that I'll be putting at the back kitchen door to catch all the grime and stuff that, so we don't get it inside the house. Um, and I picked this up for my shower in the bathroom. Hopefully it's going to work. I haven't tried it out yet, but I need some. I have just a really small shower and there's not a lot of uh, space to put any products on. And there's just like a little spot for your soap and then there's another little spot and that's about it. So I grabbed one of these. I'm hoping this will fit in there and work nicely. Um, so yes, I'm sure we're not new to this, <laughs> but it does says it does say on here rust proof. So hopefully that holds true. And this was $10.99 at Ross. And then I bought this for my kitchen. Um, I was just going to prop it in the back corner near the coffee pot area. Um, this is the rooster, the pig, and the cow. I've got another piece in there that I'm going to be um, hauling on Hobby Lobby, and you'll see why I got this one. And it's Fiddle and Fern. Okay. And this was $6.99 at Ross. It's really cute, isn't it? So I thought, love that kind of stuff. And then um, for the, uh, I think for the uh, guest room upstairs, I'm going to swap out the, the panels that I have in the window. And I'm going to go with this color here. I think this will go better with that room, but I'm not sure. I'm going to give it a shot and see. This set here was $14.99 at Ross. As you can see, it has like the little grommets. Where is that at? Yeah, right there. See? So yeah, $14.99 at Ross. So I'll be putting that up there. And then for my bathroom, I'm almost out of my hand soap. And I like doing, I like adding like some pink because I have a pink shower curtain in there and I have a couple other little things that are pink. So I picked this up and it's Sweet Peony. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's a Sweet Peony natu Nature's Apothecary. So, yep. And that was $3.99. And then I also buy my lavender, uh, well, my deodorant. I always buy it from either Ross or Marshalls. And this is the Schmitz Lavender and Sage, and it smells amazing. And I know you can probably buy other uh, de deodorants from other places, probably for the same price or less, but I like these, and it was $4.49. I like this brand. And then um, also I picked up for the kids for Valentine's, I found these three little containers for their little Valentine's uh, treats that Grandma will give them, and those were $3.99 there at Ross. And then I also found this for my granddaughter, this uh, sweater. 
It is so, so, so soft. So I found this for her to wear so that she can sport the month of February. And this was $10.99 at Ross. And it's a uh, Cocoa Coca, Coca and Shea brand. It's kind of like that lash um, feeling. If you've got, I've got one of those sweaters. But this sweater is so, so soft. In fact, a couple of years ago, I bought Madison one exactly like this, but it was a zip up. It was a little sweater coat, I guess. But yes, so that's for Abby. And then for Scotty, I bought him some more um, outdoor socks to wear because it's, you know, it's cold here and he's always outdoor hiking and everything. And this was um, four, pa four pair and they are $9.99. And it's uh, it's for you know high Sierra is that what it says right there, yeah. So those are nine ninety nine for four pair. And then for myself, I found these um, cute little um, Adrian um, Sport Cozy Fleece pants for twelve ninety nine, and it they're kind of like joggers. It has that, and then the inside's kind of fleece. So these are kind of these are nice for lounging around the house in. And these were $12.99 at Ross. And then I also found myself this cute little uh, hoodie by RBX. As you all know, I like RBX. And this I found at TJ Maxx. And as you can see how it has the, let's see if I can get this up right. But it has the longer in the back, it has the slits on the side. Um, this one does, oh, it, it does have the thumb holes. So it does have the thumb holes. And it's the hoodie. You got your drawstring, and this thing is super soft, so soft. I can't wait to wear this piece. And this one I picked up $14.99, and that was TJ Maxx. And then for the Easter, the one little thing I got for Easter, which I saw this, I thought it was really cute, Bloom and Bramble Spring Garland, little eggs. So it is, how many feet is this? It's just 72 inches. And it was $6.99 at Ross. So I'm not sure if I'll put that over on the fireplace where the TV is or on the piano in here. And then for Blue, which we've already given him these, um, I'm always looking for his dog treats at um, TJ Maxx because um, they have really good dog treats. And these, um, these do not expire until January 18th of 2023. And these are the Blue Wilderness um, trail treats, natural baked biscuits. He loves these. But he came over here, so I'm going to hand him one really quick. And then I also bought him, I've never tried the dog whisper uh, dog treats, but I picked these up there as well. And they do not expire until January 2023. So buying your food or dog products at those like Ross or Marshalls or TJ Maxx, I would strongly suggest check the expiration date because you don't want to get anything that's been expired or that's either getting ready to expire or already has expired. And he likes these too. These are um, the jerky sticks beef recipe and they, they sell for $7.99 at TJ Maxx. So I'm going to give him one because he's sitting here. He's my little partner. So that is my little Ross and TJ Maxx haul I wanted to bring to you. Um, so hopefully you got, saw some things that you might like. I really love this hoodie. I can't wait to wear this. In fact, in fact I think I'm gonna put this on. I think I am. Um, and the little sweater for Abigail, I found that, I forgot to say, I found it in the juniors department. This one, um, yeah, in the juniors. And I looked to see if I could find because juniors, they, they run more shorter and everything. I wanted to find an extra large in this so that I could have one, but they didn't have one. So I didn't get one. But anyway, you guys, thank you again for joining me um, and sitting through this uh, Ross and TJ Maxx little mini haul that I had here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, if there's anything you guys want me to be looking for or bringing to do a review on or to haul on, let me know because I get so excited when I find these bargains and um, also I love decorating and I just 
love shopping. So if there's anything that you want me to be looking for out there for you, let me know and I'll bring it to this channel if I can find it. Okay, so be on the lookout. My next, uh, my next video is going to be the Hobby Lobby and also have, or I might put Hobby Lobby first before this one. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I've got Hobby Lobby video, Amazon video, um, and those are coming very soon. So again, thank you so much for joining me. If you're not already part of this, uh, if you have not already subscribed to my channel and you would like to see and enjoy seeing what I bring to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. And also, if you enjoyed what you saw here today, hit the like button. That's a free way to help your girl out here. I'm trying to grow this channel and just and um, bring things here that everybody will like. And um, there's other things that's not just clothing, it's not just home decor. Um, I'm hoping to get my GoPro uh, situated here soon and learn how to use it. And when we're out hiking, do some of those videos too. It'll kind of show you the area of South Carolina where we're at, it is beautiful. Um, so I am really excited about uh, bringing that to the channel as well. So yes, everybody, thank you again for joining me. I appreciate and love each and every one of you. And if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. So please, thank you. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Like the like button and also tell everybody about me and maybe they'll join in on us. Thank you and have a wonderful week.